save 10% with my code BOBBY10. Just kidding guys, today's offer is much greater than a saving of 10%. I teamed up with my Muslim brothers and we created Pure Passage. Imagine sending the reward of Umrah this Ramadan to someone you really loved but had already departed from this dunya. Or they're really sick and they cannot perform Umrah at all. Imagine the feeling of honoring his or her memory and expressing your love and devotion while still ensuring that they receive this gift. The reward of performing Umrah. As a new revert, I just learned about this, but you know better than me that performing Umrah is a profound spiritual journey that most Muslims aspire to undertake and you understand the rewards of it. However, for some, this journey can be challenging, especially when their loved ones are sick or have already passed away. At Pure Passage, we understand how important it is to fulfill this obligation for your loved ones. That's why we offer our professional and reliable service to perform Umrah on behalf of your sick or deceased parents, spouse or any other relatives. We believe that everyone should have the opportunity to fulfill this sacred act even if they are unable to do so themselves and equally understand that the physical and financial challenges of performing Umrah yourself on behalf of your loved ones can be overwhelming. That's where Pure Passage comes in. We take care of everything and make sure that your loved one's Umrah is performed with the utmost care and attention to detail. So let us help you earn this immense reward for your loved ones by performing Umrah on their behalf. Contact us today and let's make it happen. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, man, Miss Bobby, guys, finally, for the very first time, we're gonna react to Smile to Janna with their video, Mind Blowing Quran Miracle. Are you ready to convert? So the question is obviously not directed towards me. I already converted roughly a month ago, alhamdulillah. But of course, I gladly react to this video because inshallah, it will lead to further people converting to Islam. Guys, just do me the favor before we jump into the video. If you like my content, leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. With no further ado, let's have a look. So chapter 32 is called Sajda prostration there are 30 verses so the prostration verse is verse 15 and lo and behold it has exactly 15 words and not to mention the word prostration is the 186th word in this chapter and if we add 1 8 and 6 together what do we get 15 which is the verse number of prostration let's take the prostration verse multiply it by 2 we get 30, which is the total amount of verses in this chapter. Let's also take 186, which is the position that the word prostration comes in this chapter. We multiply that by 2, we get 372, which is the total words in this chapter. Coincidence? Not convinced? Well, let's look at chapter 71, which is the chapter of Noah. The total amount of verses are 28. So let's minus the verses from the chapter, yeah? 71 minus 28 is 43. So 43 is the amount of times Noah is mentioned in the Quran. There are 43 wow. chapters after this chapter that do not mention Noah. And there are 43 chapters that come before that do not mention Noah either. How many do mention Noah? Well, it's 28 the number of verses in this chapter. Wait, there's more. Let's multiply the chapter by the verse. That's 71 by All 28. We get 1,988. And the 1,988th verse in the Quran has how many letters? Yes, that's right, 43. And for the maths boffins out there, 71 is the highest prime factor of 1,988. I'm still not done. Yeah, if you look at Nuh, Nuh is a three letter word. The first appearance of Nuh is in chapter three. Yes, and it's first mentioned in verse 
33 and in the chapter of Nuh it is the third word mentioned three times and lastly the people of Nuh is mentioned 14 times. The 14th prime number is 43 which is the total number of times Nuh is mentioned. Now what makes this more profound is the fact My that the Lord. Quran was revealed circumstantially. In other words when the Prophet was asked something or when something happened that's when the verses would be revealed. So there was no way of the Prophet وسلم, predicting or preempting those questions. And secondly the Prophet peace be upon him could not read or write. So he didn't sit there writing and then counting the words and then mirroring it. So it would have been impossible for the Prophet to mastermind this literary miracle. And the cherry on the cake the Quran was not revealed in chapter and verse order. So at the end of the Prophet's life that's when all the written parts of the Quran were collected and collated. It was not done yeah. initially. That is a very important point because many people believe that Al-Fatiha was revealed first but that is not the case. The first revelation of the Quran was Surah Al-Alaq and therefore the Quran was compiled and put into the order that is familiar to us after the life of the Prophet may peace be upon him which makes this even more mind-blowing because it led to this mathematical miracle. So is there any wonder why so many people Muslims and non-Muslims are impressed by this book? The religion is the fastest growing on the planet and why you if you are Muslim should be reading it and benefiting from it more and if you are a non-Muslim you read it and you accept Islam. Alright guys and this is it for today's video. Very short one but packed with information. In the end he made a very bold claim and he said you read it and then you convert to Islam. But I have to agree here because this is exactly what happened to me. When I opened up the Quran I opened it up with the intention to debunk Islam. So I wasn't a Muslim obviously. Quite the opposite. I come from an Orthodox Christian perspective and moreover I was an Islamophobe if you will. I hated Islam with a vengeance. More over I want to eradicate Islam off the face of the earth. This is how much I hated it. My parents are from the Balkan and on the Balkan we had many conflicts between Christians and Muslims. So I hated Islam with a vengeance and I want to get rid of it. However by researching my own religion Christian orthodoxy back then I found out about the Trinity, about saint worship and what not and this didn't sit right with me. I couldn't accept it whatsoever and this is why I said to myself if I open up the Quran I will find the devil within it and then I can debunk Islam. I was even plotting and scheming and thinking about debunking Islam on my YouTube channel similar to David Wood and what not. So I opened up the Quran with those evil intentions but needless to say as you can see now here I'm a Muslim myself. It is absolutely mind-blowing how transformative the Quran was for me. I was reading through it seeing that this book book is only about monotheism, about getting rid of everything people attached onto God, about eradicating such things as trinity, idol worship and what not. Simply putting your faith, your trust into one God alone. This was the beautiful message that I found within the Quran and therefore I make the bold claim now as well. Even if you hate Islam you should open up the Quran because then you can trust to debunk it or even further you can try to debunk me because many people said that I was always an undercover Muslim. Don't you see? I was pretending to be Christian Orthodox and in reality I was always Muslim and this channel was only created to attack Christianity and to promote Islam but that is not the case. You can look into the history of Bobby's perspective. I kept many many videos up there and you will see that this channel was about veganism, raw veganism, fasting, bodybuilding, spirituality and what not. And after seven years of being on YouTube I finally accepted Islam. My journey is well documented. You have absolutely no possibility of debunking me. But if you still want to debunk me, you want to debunk what I'm claiming here, simply open up the Quran and see for yourself. Alright guys but this is it for today's video. If you liked it leave a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel via Patreon for example all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support guys and as always may God bless you all. Much love and peace.